yeah, I was just nicely drifting <laughs> up a lift, minding my own business, then this guy gets quick scoped. I won't lie, it felt good, and his brain was left on the floor. <laughs> Why, hello there, welcome to PlayStation Grenade. It's time for more Saturday shenanigans, but this time it's a little different. This week, I have been to Miracle. And it was bloody awesome. Over in Los Angeles for the gameplay reveal of Borderlands 3. And it's a freaking awesome game. So I thought we'd go through some of the clips that I recorded whilst I was there. And I'll tell you about my experiences and what I think to the game. So anyway, if you're interested, this is Borderlands 3. And I absolutely love it. So this is about... 20 minutes in, maybe a little bit less than that. I'm just getting used to how switching guns works and inventory and things like that. And I've met this young lady who's British and not a bad guy. Well, not yet anyway. Uh, yeah, I've got a thing for looking for Easter eggs. I need to stop doing that. But she takes cover here. I was thinking, why are you taking cover, love? And then I realized there's loads there and I thought, come on, let's get involved, darling. Let's get involved. So that nade I threw out spawns more grenades if it hits. So look at that. It's a flaming bloodbath. That's just from one nade. Oh, and I have a thing for this pistol. It really is addicting to use. Let's go around, huh? Oh, it's so good. So the AI wasn't extremely intelligent, but I think that's really because we wanted to feel like badasses for our first ever use of the game. So I think I switched to my sniper soon, which I haven't used before. Oh, the barrel there, it blows up now. It's like an ice frost barrel. So you can stack up on different energy types. So this is radiation, the sniper rifle. It charges up, so you have to aim. It's not for quick scopers. You have to aim, charge up the bullet, and then let it rip. And look at that. Absolutely rinse that fellow. Oh, I forgot how good it was. Oh, I hit a glitch here, so I, I'm actually talking to the dev next to me, saying that there is some sort of invisible wall that was stopping me there. <laughs> but I'm sure that's gone in the final version. So the heavy gunner, his weak spot is that thing on his back. He be gone. He be gone. So one thing I noticed quite quickly is how quick you can switch from weapon to weapon in Borderlands 3. Yeah, I tried to switch weapon with L1 and that didn't go well. Oh, and if you uh, see any button prompts, they are Xbox button prompts because this event was sponsored by Xbox, so I had to use an Xbox controller. And as a PlayStation 4 player, it was damn difficult to get used to. It's an awesome pad, don't get me wrong. I really like the controller, but if you're not used to using it, damn, it takes time. And when you see X prompts on screen and you press the wrong button, that's quite annoying too. Yeah, I tried to flank just back then to see if the AI would track me, and they do. But they aren't particularly good at aiming the AI. But again, I think that's a balancing issue. They wanted us to feel like we could wreck anyone. Oh! Oh, hitting crits. The guns do so much damage. Well, of course, at the right level. But it, it feels heavy. It feels like they're doing something. It, it isn't like what the divisions used to feel like, where you'd put thousands of bullets into someone and, and it wouldn't even scratch them. Even even if they are bullet sponges on this, that there's animations feel like there's weight behind each bullet. I absolutely get rinsed there into my own grenade. Look at this. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Pyrotex. Boom shakalaka! Yeah, the Ultras, the Ultimates, the Specials, whatever you want to call them, they are so much fun to use. In fact, I'll show you all of them. I played as um, two different characters, the both that we could play as. Amara, who's a Siren, and I think it's Zane. Yeah, it's Zane. And he's basically an amalgam of all the other characters from previous games. But I'll, I'll talk about him when we get there. Oh, look at that. I just works. It just works. Wasted, you wankers. <laughs> that was brilliant, Vault Hunter. <laughs> Look at the size of the map. There's so much to cover, and this is just Promethea. There's going to be multiple planets to go to. But anyway, I'll shut up. Let's listen to this. With a little help. I've got... Hang about. What is that thing on your face? Oh, this? <laughs> this is my siege mustache. 
The troops love it. Anyway, uh, who's your friend? I'm a Vault Hunter, and I'm here with the Crimson Raiders. Vault Hunter? Crimson? Uh, holy crap, yes! <laughs> how, how, how many troops did you bring? 20,000? 50,000? Depends. Do you count my biceps separately? <laughs> what? Oh, come on! I, I can't take back this city with a single-digit army! They're good, Reese. Really good. And we need all the help we can get. Bandits are pouring into the city, and they're working with Malawan. Looks like Katagawa's made a deal with the Calypsos. Perfect. Everybody's just piling on. Well, new friend, you showed up at the right time. My top agent is gearing up to strike at Malawan's strategic gigamind. If they are after the vaults, that's... Yeah, so he said gigamind, so that's the boss that we're going to try and track down in this gameplay demo. Right. While you go meet Reese's agent, I'm going to get this base back online and start securing more of the city. Oh, before you head off, I've got something for you. Right, and I've got a bit of a thing for Lorelei because we don't really get many British um, heroes in films or games. They always tend to be the bad guys. Since you're heading downtown, I'm hooking you up with a cyclone. It's fast and light, perfect for getting about the city streets. Perfect. Take it for a spin. Cheers, darling. Will do. Yes, I do make my vehicles pink. <laughs> you know me. You know me well. So I'm pushing forward to find, try and find this mega mind thing. And I just like this radiation sniper. One hit on something that's humanoid. Just look at them. They absolutely evaporate. But it also does decent damage against other things if you can hit your crits, which I think I tried to do here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And like you'd expect in most of these types of games, the, how long it takes to reload is part of, of managing your inventory, part of figuring out what you're going to do. And yeah, the, the strongest weapons tend to have quite long reload times, whereas the, like these weapons like I have now is like less than a second, and you've got another four bullets. I really wish this weapon had eight bullets. But we can also, I didn't see it firsthand, but we can also upgrade. So we can go to Marcus on the Sanctuary 3, the ship that we're going to live on. And we can upgrade enough. Oh, that's a good shot. We can upgrade enough to have more bullets, or we carry more bullets, so we can adapt as we as we go on. Oh, of course. There are also vault hunters from the previous games. WTF? And they have these little pop-up screens. I love these. Ironically does a lot of dividing and his name's Zero. Yeah, it's a bloody brilliant. Okay, boss fight time. So this time I've switched to the character Zane. So, um, this is Mega Mind. And the reason I switched to Zane is because I played this three times to get one weapon which only has a potential chance of dropping. So this is the third, third time I fought Giga Mind to get this weapon at the end. I'll show you very soon. Okay, so Zane has got a couple of abilities. He can leave behind a uh, sort of a fake version of himself, which also attacks, and we can switch to it whenever we like. So it's like having a second person on the battlefield with you. So if you want damage output, that's a really, really good character to choose. And he, he also has that drone flying around, because he can have two abilities going at the same time. So he is quite OP. I'm not sure how they're going to, to balance that out, but... As a first choice, he's a great one to go for, Zane. And he's Irish! And who the hell doesn't love an Irish accent? So we're almost through his shield. We're getting there, slowly but surely. And in three seconds, bottom right-hand corner, two seconds, one second, we have the first ability back so we can get our decoy out and go and flank. And hopefully, he will get the attention of the boss and we can start critting him on his back. And here's another weapon which needs to be charged, but when it lands, it does damage over time, which is very useful. And just when our decoy is about to end, we should have our drone back again, so yeah. Zane is so OP, it's damn good. And it always finishes with just loot galore. A waterfall of loot. Look at all this stuff! Yeah, I spent a good 10 minutes looking through all this stuff, but the thing I wanted was bright gold. Here it is, look at that bad boy. So this is the Smart Gun XXL, and there's also the Exceptional Body Maker, something like that. And there's the brain we came for. So, 
I didn't get to use it a lot, but when you reload, you throw the gun out, and look! <laughs> it's a little brain on legs! And I do have some footage, not much, but I have some footage. If it hits the target, it explodes with corrosive damage. If it doesn't, it goes to the ground and shoots. Look at that! <laughs> oh man, I love that. It just scurries off. So good. There's loads of guns though that are just this good. This one, when I throw it out, it just sticks to walls, so I do practice with it. Here he goes, he goes up there. I throw it at him, he sticks to the wall. Once it knows it's him, it runs after him and explodes. How cool is that? Uh. But of course, not all guns are made the same, even standard guns and uh, standard enemies. It's all about where you hit them. So here's a few headshots on this guy, does nothing, but if we switch to the thing on his back, we can use his element against him. Burn, monkey fluffer. So real thought has gone into these weapons and I absolutely love it. Here's one I got really early on. It's some sort of shock weapon, but watch this. Knocks him back like a shotgun and there's a chance that they will be electrified and look what they leave on the floor. And yes, it does harm us. When other enemies see it, they will walk round it. How good is that? I thought they were going to be really stupid enemies and just go straight through it. So yeah, so much thought in all these guns and I adore it because of that. I can't wait to see what weird and wonderful guns we all get. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I have about five hours of footage and over the next few months, I'm going to repeatedly put out quite a bit of content for Borderlands 3 about the guns, about balancing, about the abilities. I like this game. I would love to cover it on the channel up until its release in September. Are you with me? Please let me know in the comments if you want more of this, less of this. I'll always listen and I'll give you the best I can. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. I hope you enjoyed this because I had so much fun making it and playing this game. I can't wait for September. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.